how close was this game? I, and Drew had this question. How close is this game to your original prototype? I mean, we're looking at a finished product we really enjoyed. How close is this to what you originally had planned, and are you happy with it? Uh, I'm very happy with the production. Uh, I think the pieces are very nice. I think the graphics and everything fits very nicely together. It gives a very good atmosphere for the game. The game, how it is published by Fantasy Flight now in the States, is very similar to the game, how it was published two years ago in Germany. I started the design, and that's maybe the wider question now, in 1996. Um, and my original mm. theme was different. I, the initial spark of uh, how I start with the kernel, started with the kernel of the design was, uh, I mean, my working title was Rockefeller. It was ne second to none. And I started out by saying there is a very wealthy area in a city, maybe on an island, and some wealthy families move in, and they want to show off, and they want to show that they have the nicest, private um, golf uh, golf course and the other one has the biggest <laughs> swimming pool and so on. And of course, because the territory is unexplored, people try to grab the best land for themselves and put the nice things in there. When I then developed it further, I, I saw that I needed to change some of the original mechanics and by changing some of the original mechanics, I saw that the theme was no longer in sync with the, the mechanics, so I started thinking about where could that game take me? And finally, it took me into the desert. Well, I, I just find that very unique that you sit down and, and have an intent of designing one mm -hmm. thing, and as you work it out, it becomes something else. I find that very interesting. Yeah. I think that is actually very important, because if I sat down and started and said, I want to do a card game about this theme, I would restrict myself very much, and usually I think uh, the game wouldn't be very good because it wouldn't fit into this hole where I want to press it into. I think a game, like a human being, needs to get freedom to develop, and you need to see where it develops into and where it goes, and you need to let it go. I often started out doing a card game and then became a board game, or, or vice versa. It, it's, if you give the game all the freedom then you have the best chance to make a good game out of it. Well, this one is a good this game. Is a uh, so, Drew, you had a couple questions to lead off. Why don't you uh, take it from there? Okay. Reiner, um, what's generally your, your first step in game design? Is it like a mechanism or a certain theme that you want to tap on? Or I think there are two answers to this. Most likely I would start from an enthusiastic theme and would try to explore a world and then come up with some systems behind it and, and uh, design a game around it. But I think the, the, the more appropriate or the wider question uh, is, uh, the, the wider answer is that if you always start at the same uh, starting point, uh, there's a good chance that you always come out at the same end point. <laughs> and of course, there's a lot of, and I think rightly so, a lot of call for innovation in games. I think if you want to do game design professionally and if you design a number of games, it is very important to start at very different ends and to uh, use very different entrants into the game. May, uh, may it come from uh, nice components I see uh, in, in, in the shops. I mean, I have a whole room full of strange components, which I all have the hope I can sometimes transfer, transfer <laughs> into a game. Uh, it could be a theme, it could be an article read, a TV uh, film you see, uh, anything. Uh, it, it could be a new type of uh, mechanics or new type of game system. Anything you can link together, anything could be a good starting point. Of course, the aim is all of these uh, different uh, aspects I, I named in the end have to find their way into the game and have to make mm -hmm. a very balanced and, and, and good composition. <laughs> So that was a more complicated answer probably than you expected. Yes? Uh, you surprised <laughs> me on something, but I'm going to get back to that after Drew has a follow-up here, I believe. Okay.